guys. Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. My name is Michael. I go by Mr. MBB333 here on YouTube. I'm an image analyst. I've done work in the past for the History Channel's Ancient Aliens. I've even analyzed video footage with a real rocket scientist trying to decipher what some folks saw from a helicopter down here in, in South America. But what I'd like to touch on first is something that's headed towards the Earth and should be here in less than 36 hours. What you just saw right here was a high-speed coronal mass ejection that has an Earth-directed component. This thing was huge that occurred just a few hours ago. This was an X1, almost an X2 flare, yet another very long duration flare lasting nearly four hours. Again, this has an Earth-directed component. You can see the ionosphere already starting to feel the energy from the very powerful shock wave that, again, could create a geomagnetic storm. And who knows, we may see auroras down into the, the mid-latitudes again here in the next couple of days. We'll have to wait and see, but solar activity is definitely on the rise as the Earth-facing side of the sun is becoming more and more active with an entire swarm of active regions and very dark sunspots that are loaded and ready for action. What we're going to analyze in this video is an incredible video out of Hutchinson, Kansas, and if you had to draw a line and circles in the center of the United States, the location that we're going to go in this video is is almost exactly in the center of the United States, within a mere 75 miles of being perfectly in the center of the United States. And I'll show you guys real quick over here on Google Earth. Check this out. We're going to measure from right here in Hutchinson, go north to the Canadian border. It's basically 747 miles as the crow flies. If we go straight south down into southern Texas, 747, almost 48 miles to the southern border of Texas. Again, as the crow flies. If we fly east, check this out. Too wild. 1,202 miles to the east coast of the United States. If we go to the west coast, check it out. 1,288 miles. So basically about 80 miles from being in the exact center of the United States. You guys are going to see some amazing video footage from this location. In fact, we're going to get right to it. This video has a little bit of narration as, as Kyla was driving down the road just a little over 24 hours ago when she spotted this off in the distance in Hutchinson, Kansas. At 7.59 p.m., there was a huge craft that looks like it was coming in for a landing over here. I've got this video and two other videos that I want to share with you guys of what appear to be large crafts in the nighttime sky and here we go to Hutchinson Kansas it's staying in the same spot too I don't know what it is Okay, as you could hear by the, the engine of the vehicle, they were driving down the road, pulled over to the side of the road to take the video. I mean, you don't normally do something like that unless it's something very captivating. Here's the original video. I simply put it in slow motion to get a better look at this thing. I'm going to stop it right here as you can kind of begin to see the outline of this craft, which looks like it has multiple points that form a triangle. And in the center, there's a larger light. I've actually seen one of those myself in the early morning sky, 5.15 a.m. from right out here in southeast Phoenix, Arizona. Here's another view of the corners. There's a corner there, there, and there. This is more than likely the control center of this craft that I'm certain is under intelligent control. Here's a close-up view of the, the large craft that appears to be coming in for a landing, it's very low to the ground. Let's put it that way. This thing couldn't have been more than 150 feet off the ground above Hutchinson, Kansas. This segment's obviously in slow motion. I zoomed in just a little bit. I was trying to get as close as I could. As This is quite interesting. I mean, you don't see things like this every day. And this thing was so interesting, so captivating, that a fellow 
human decided to pull their vehicle over to the side of the road to take a video. I mean, you wouldn't do that for an airplane or a helicopter. You'd just keep right on driving. Those are things that we see pretty much on a on a day-to-day -day basis. This is something that you definitely don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, one morning I was sitting outside drinking coffee at 5.17 a.m. Something like this flew over my location, made a hard left-hand turn. It came from the, the southeast and made a hard left-hand turn towards the south. If it hadn't have turned and tilted, I wouldn't have seen it, as what I saw was a perfect match with the black sky. The only reason I saw it is because it tilted, and I saw these lights on the bottom side of the triangle craft. And yes, it did have the, the larger light in the middle. They looked like ping pong balls cut in half, stuck to the bottom of a very dark black triangle. But there's another example of a triangle craft in the nighttime sky. I've gotten more videos in the last month of very large triangle crafts in the nighttime sky than I've gotten in many, many years combined. This gentleman right here describes an experience that, that he went through a few weeks ago involving a, a massive craft of some sort that he saw from the Los Angeles, California area. I don't have the entire video of this gentleman's encounter, but he said there were multiple people pulled over to the side of the road here a while back looking at a large craft in the Los Angeles area. This next video is from Burbank, California. California, which isn't far from Los Angeles. This was spotted in the sky on the night of September 17th of 2024 at 8.02 p.m. by Sabrina H. She seemed to be focusing in on this object right here. I noticed some action up here in the right-hand corner, so I zoomed in on the right-hand corner of this video. And yes, once I zoomed in, you could see there were lights up here behind this thing, whatever this may have been. It was simply too far away to make an accurate assessment of what this is. I've never seen anything like it. I have no idea what that was. It was simply unidentifiable. Like what's going on up here? unidentifiable. You're seeing sets of three lights move in a very unique pattern. They are obviously under some sort of intelligent control. Here we're going to zoom in for a closer look and you can actually see there are indeed three lights together in clusters. Here comes cluster number one. Here goes number two, number three, number four, and the back set was a slightly different color. They were red. And coming up right here, you're going to see a, a different sequence. This is the same object, but yet another sequence. It revealed itself two or three different times. There was something back here that was blending in with the night sky very, very well, other than the sequencing lights that revealed themselves very, very briefly. Here's the series of white lights that she seemed to be focusing in on. There was a larger one over here to the left. Following the larger one were six, maybe seven smaller lights that also appeared to be in a straight line, implying some sort of intelligent design. These weren't random stars or, or anything like that. Not a fireball, not space debris. That's some sort of a, a craft over there in the sky, several miles away from her location, but yet still bright enough enough to, to be seen from Burbank, California. I'm assuming this was out over the Pacific Ocean. Here's another example, another rare video of a mysterious object in the nighttime sky by, by Heather Sandgren, who noticed this object here flying behind these power lines. Not sure of the location, as she didn't tell me the location, but the video is legit. You can see something right there flying through the sky that appears to be part of something larger. They were very taken back by this object. If it were an airplane or a helicopter, more than likely, they wouldn't even have recorded this thing, whatever it may have been. But this is the third, what looks like a large craft of some sort, flying through the sky here in the last three or four weeks that I've received personally. So you know, more than likely, other people are seeing things like this as well in the nighttime sky. They just don't know what they're looking at. And quite honestly, analyzing this type of footage, I find it quite interesting. It's a, it's a challenge to, to try to pull forward any other features on these things. As you can see, you don't see anything else there but the, the blinking lights. I put this in fast forward because sometimes when you put these lights in fast forward, they're a little easier to see. And in fact, that's the case here. They're easier to see. And you can tell they're part of something larger that's not easy to see. It's blending in perfectly with its environment, more than likely what it's supposed to do. 
Here's a unique photo sent in by Polenta out of Sacramento, California, who couldn't help but notice this odd what looks like a, a dark shadow up in the sky. Everything else looks very random and, and like a, a normal sky would look with clouds and various things going on. And then you've got this oval-shaped dark feature in the sky that just looked out of place. Polenta's very alert took a photo of this moment above Sacramento, California. See it right there? Looks like a huge oval in the sky. How did that get there? It just looked out of place. I completely agree. Doesn't look like the rest of the sky, that's for sure. Great observation by Polenta out of Sacramento, California. Going to show you guys another what appears to be a large craft in the, the nighttime sky. Video sent in by Rebecca Morgan. Look at this. Way off in the distance. How about that? Yet another what appears to be some sort of a, a possible large craft. There's always the outside chance that these could be some sort of drones that are holding a, a very steady position in the, the nighttime sky. They don't appear to be moving. If those were Chinese lanterns, they would be at the mercy of the winds. They would be drifting aimlessly through the sky. These also appear to be under intelligent control, maintaining a nearly perfect position in the sky and what looks like some sort of a, a large craft. Maybe not a perfect triangle, but it's challenging to tell from this location. But you do have lights in the sky that are that are forming some sort of what looks like a, a possible craft. Not sure of the location. I'm waiting to hear back on the exact location of this sighting as well. So we've seen new video footage out of Hutchinson, Kansas, of what appears to be yet another sighting of a giant craft. This one here appeared to be coming in for a possible landing right in the center, the exact center of the United States. You can't make this stuff up. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red banner that says, Have a Large Video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.